Hey everybody, this is Rich. This video is going to cover how to set up an event in the automation system in AppSheet. To get started, you'll create a new event. And the first step that you'll decide is whether you want to create a data change event or a scheduled event. Data changes are whenever something changes in the table that your event is tied to. And you could tie that here. Scheduled actions are events that will occur on a routine basis. First, we'll drill into events that are data change type operation. So what is a data change? A data change is some change to the table that you've targeted for your event to occur. And that can be, you could monitor for all changes, basically any combination of adds, updates, and deletes. In addition to the change type that you select when you're setting up that data change, you can also specify a condition, a more granular condition that you want AppSheet to check for. So for example, this simple task app that I have here loaded on the screen, if I wanted to monitor for the change in the status field for a task to complete, I would add a condition in here where the status field is equal to complete. And I could go ahead and save that. And what that will do is we'll make this event when ads or updates occur and the status is equal to complete. So after you've defined your conditions, you can also define whether this event will ignore and bypass securities or adhere to them. Remember, security filters are your security control at a record level for what records you allow in the application. So by default, any events that occur will only monitor the, the changes as if they are behind a security filter. As the app developer, you do have the ability to override that and have AppSheet act on the table as a whole. Next is appearance. You could assign a simple icon to the event itself, and this will help you remember. Really, this is just a visual indication for the event itself. It doesn't show up anywhere in the app. And then there's also documentation field as well. So the next type is scheduled events. And the first thing you'll see is that there's this option called for each row in table. When it's disabled, the event will only occur one time. If you turn it on, and that will be either daily, weekly, monthly, or by week, you know, monthly, a day of the week basis. So that would be one instance of the event being triggered. Now, if you turn for each row in the table on, you will specify a table that you want the event to be associated with. And then on a time-based scheduled that is defined here, AppSheet will then identify all the records in that table for which that event becomes valid. By default, there is no filter condition in here. So if this is enabled, then you will have an event created for each record in the table that you have. But you can also add a condition into this field to restrict what AppSheet sees an event. So going back to the simple status field filter, we can have AppSheet create an event for each record in the table where the status is equal to complete. And it's important to note that when these events are triggered, that means whatever process that event is ultimately attached to will be run each time the event is triggered. So most of the time, if you're sending an email or something like that with a summary information, you're going to want to have this disabled. If you're wanting AppSheet to go through every record in the table and update a status accordingly, you'll want to make sure that this is on so AppSheet can run through iteratively each record in the table and perform the data change operation that you may have selected. Next, just like in the data change type event, you also have the ability to bypass security filters as well. And then lastly, just like before, there's appearance and documentation fields as well. So to review, when you're done defining your event, that's just the first level of the overall bot you're creating itself. I will have a follow-up video that will go into the details of how to create and manage processes in your application. These events, remember, whatever events are triggered, or scheduled will ultimately trigger some kind of process that will run. With that, 
please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and have a good one.